everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a fun book tonight about one of my favorite foods. Tonight, we're gonna read a book about popcorn. I love popcorn. And the name of this book is Popcorn. Just popcorn. Now, it looks like somebody might be having a party and making a whole bunch of popcorn. How can you eat that much popcorn? I'm not sure if I could, but we're going to have to get into this book and find out if they can. This is going to be a fun, yummy book. Are you ready to get into this popcorn book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Popcorn, written by Frank Ash. Take good care of the house and we'll bring you a present says Mom and Dad. One fall night, Mama and Papa Bear went to a Halloween party and left Sam home alone. Look, they're all dressed up in their costumes. So he called up his friends and invited them to his house for his own Halloween party. Wear a costume and bring something good to eat, he said to his friends. While he waited for his friends to arrive, he made himself a costume. Look, he's dressed up like an Indian. The first to arrive was Betty. I brought some popcorn for the party, she said. The second to arrive was Billy. He brought popcorn too. Wow, both Betty and Billy got dressed in costumes and they brought popcorn. Bernie, Bonnie, and Buster also brought popcorn. In fact, everyone brought popcorn. Wow, <laughs> they're all dressed in their costumes and they all brought popcorn. The party was lots of fun. Wow, they're doing crazy things inside the house. When Betty said, hey, let's pop all that popcorn. Everyone thought it was a good idea. With some help from his friends, Sam lifted Mama Bear's great big kettle onto the kitchen stove and poured in all the popcorn. Um, that's a lot of popcorn to pop all at one time. He added some oil and salt and turned on the stove. Soon it began to pop, 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 pop. There was so much popcorn it quickly filled the kettle and spilled out onto the floor. Pop, 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 pop. Oh no, the kettle's not big enough to hold all that popcorn. There was so much popcorn, it filled the whole kitchen. Ah, they're getting buried in popcorn in the kitchen. It spilled out into the living room. It filled all the rooms downstairs and crept upstairs. Popcorn just keeps popping and it's filling the whole house. There was so much popcorn, it filled the whole house. Wow, look in all the windows. All you can see is popcorn. It's even popping out of the chimney. What happened? Help! Who turned out the lights? Where did everybody go? Some party. Get me out of here! All the animal friends are buried in the popcorn and they're calling for help. Everybody wanted to go home, but Sam said, No! You've got to stay and help me get rid of all this popcorn or I'll be in big trouble. He needs his friend's help. So they start munching. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch, crunch. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch, crunch. Gulp. They're eating the popcorn. They ate and ate and ate and ate and ate and ate. Wow, they're eating the popcorn. But look, they're starting to see some parts of the house again. And ate and ate and ate. Oh, until all the popcorn was gone. And they are so full of popcorn. Look, they're so full they can barely move. I don't care if I ever see another piece of popcorn in my whole life, said Buster. I feel like my stomach is going to burst, said Betty. Mine too, 
said Bobby as they head on home, full of popcorn. Everybody went home. Everybody was full. Sam felt the sickest of all. He said good night to his friends and cleaned up. Wow. And went to bed. Later that night, Mama and Papa Bear came home. Look, Sam's upstairs in his bed, and here come Mama and Papa home from their party. Wake up, they said. We brought you a present. Oh, what is it? asked Sam. Popcorn, they replied. Oh, no. Popcorn? Poor Sam, he had so much popcorn. All his friends brought popcorn to the party. They popped it, it filled the whole house. And the only way to clean it up was to eat all that popcorn. And then he felt sick and he wanted to go to bed. And mom and dad came home with more popcorn. No, Sam does not need any more popcorn. Now I love popcorn, but I don't think I could eat that much popcorn. I think I'd get a stomach ache just like Sam. That was a fun book about popcorn. And probably a fun lesson not to pop too much popcorn because it pops and pops and pops and pops and just boils over all over the place, which might be fun at first, but not when it fills the whole house. Silly book, and I'm glad we read it together. But now it's time for all my little bears to go to bed. No popcorn tonight. I need everybody to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, whatever you do, don't pop too much popcorn. But obey, and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.